people, how often do we actually drive by, see a house like this, notice a, a Santa peeking his head out of a big blow up trailer, checking out, seeing who's being naughty or nice and wonder who in the world put in all of this time for the rest of us to drive by and admire. We definitely appreciate it, I know, but to this morning, you're actually gonna meet some of the people behind the displays. This morning, we're meeting Kimberly and her husband, Dan, and uh, I know you both worked hard, but Dan, you especially, you, you've put the muscle in. Kimberly, you gave the inspiration. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about how this all uh, got uh, put together this year. Go ahead. Well, it's, it, it's long hours getting it all together and getting it ready to go. And, uh, you know, we do it for the kids, the neighborhood, um, you know, inspiration by my father-in-law and things of that nature. Now, you said it took you about a, a week and a half altogether to, to put all of this up. And I know that there's some favorites. So right now we're looking at, uh, let's say I see a Christmas pig. Yeah. See <laughs> <laughs> yes, the pigs are my favorite, um, especially the blow up one that's right here in front of the window. My best friend, Mary, actually got that for me as a joke to kind of annoy Dan back here, <laughs> not thinking that he would put it up. And it's been up every year since she gave it to me. So he's definitely one of my favorite pigs that I do have. Well, and I love you've created a number of scenes. We've got some lit up trees, the presents up at the top. We've got the princesses on the side of the house. I know that was a special request from your daughter, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, our daughter is four and she is a huge Disney princess fan. So being able to create the scene for her was amazing and to see her little eyes light up when she sees it lit is just the best feeling in the world. Well and then in addition to the projection we also have um, some Disney elements right here. We've got Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, that looks like the Magic Kingdom Castle. Yep absolutely anything we're huge fans of Disney and uh, so are the kids so anything Disney is perfect. Yeah, we've got Olaf here. I see what looks like Cinderella's magical pumpkin carriage. That's pretty cool. I mean, there's quite a variety. How long has it taken you to accumulate all of these characters and all these lights? Um, probably about eight to nine years now. I mean, we've been doing it for a while, but it takes time, you know. Especially things break, you got to replace and do things of that nature. But yeah, I'd say eight to nine years. And we've inherited a lot from my mom and dad and my grandma and grandpa as well. Yeah. So it's nice to have a family, family heirlooms to decorate with. Absolutely. I know that this is the, you've gone really big this year. It's the biggest year that you've done when it comes to lights and all of that. You guys come on up here. And if others are in the neighborhood, if they're in Plymouth, where can they find you if they want to drive on by and take some pictures? Um, we are at 9701 Terry Street and we're right off of Ann Arbor Road in 275. Okay. And you mentioned that some of the decorations here in the yard are from your mom, from yeah. your dad. Yeah. We're going to talk a little bit more about that coming up in the next half an hour because I know your parents were really the, the big inspiration yeah. behind being the brightest house on the block. Yeah. And so we're going to talk a little bit more about that coming up in the next half an hour. And we're putting a list on WXYZ.com of the many incredible submissions that I received when it came to the brightest house on the block. There are so many throughout Metro Detroit. Go to WXYZ.com to check it out and you can go on your own holiday light tour. Back to you. Yeah.